Gen 3 hammer drill with hold dozer, one and a quarter inch hole saw. What? Okay, another cool idea uh, with this new 56 piece um, shockwave kit is, you know, we were thinking and we were talking, Sean actually mentioned it, you know, the pack out case, the small pack out case. A lot of you guys bought those kits over Christmas with the 12 volt impact driver, 12 volt hammer drill. You know, to stick this, I'm sure you can find a spot in that. Recording has stopped to answer. She terrible this is from the this isn't from the pack out this is from the regular organizer oh this is from the regular organizer oh yeah take it out watch this check this out real quick we were talking about it and again the one thing this is not easy to get out it's kind of a pain in the neck um actually the first time you take it out it kind of loosens it up a little bit but you kind of got to stretch the sides out a little bit um and it kind of loosens up a little bit but you see how much trouble he's having here but he's got it got it all right, so check this out. Let's see what happens. This is with the... Oh, so wow. it's not a good fit on this yeah, one. Yeah, it is. Well, it goes in it all the way. I want yeah, it to sit. Oh, you kind of want it to sit on top? Yeah. You know, like... Um, oh, and I, I, we'll see what happens. This isn't This isn't a pack out bin. This is from the job site organizers. Yeah, it's from the, but they're pretty much the same thing. Yeah, but, but they're not exactly the same thing. So you got these edges right here. It has yeah. to kind of go down a little bit. But I want it to be, you know, so I, you can have your, you can have multi-layered. Multi-layered. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure they're not the same size. They're not exactly the same. But even if you don't want to sit on top, I mean, obviously it fits in there real great. Yeah. Sean's always thinking. So, you know, if you have the pack out, um, the small, the medium, where you get these little containers, great idea with this new compartment. Now, this is the only kit right now that has it, is this 56 piece. And again, one pallet, we don't know, and it's not sold online, do you know? I haven't checked. All right, so this might be available online, but the, right as of right now, this is the only uh, kit that has this compartment. Again, it's cool. It's a little bit of a pain in the neck to get in and out of here, but as you keep working it, obviously this will spread out a little bit. It's just really tight in here. So you kind of got to use your muscle a little bit. But I think over time, it'll definitely help it out. But another great idea um, from Milwaukee with this little compartment. Man, why is this so freaking blurry? Real quick, I know we're jumping around everywhere, but uh, Sean tells me that, again... His store is one of the only stores in the area to actually carry the 29-piece titanium uh, drill bit set. I mean, this thing is freaking loaded. Huge case. Um, the biggest is a half inch. So with the 23-piece, you're going to get, and that's why I love this. And that's why, you know, like I said, $34.97, guys. And look, and they're, they're sold out almost. $14.88 at Christmas time. I'm going to bring it to you. Don't worry. Once they hit the stores, I will definitely tell you. But this is also, now, this, uh, he says, rarely goes on sale. Um, but there is also, I don't even, to be honest with you, I, know, I thought the 23-piece was their biggest um, shockwave drill bit set. But as you know, I'm a big fan of the, of the titanium. Always go with titanium over black oxide. Um, but all right. And real quick, I was just, I'm being nosy looking at uh, Sean's 20-inch uh, organizer, the way he's got it set up here. Um, obviously, just a lot of different fasteners. Well, what's with all the tap-ons? What are you doing with these? So, so when I demo the, uh, like, the fuel hammer drill, right. hammer, I'll go into a, uh, like, a deck block. Oh, okay. And then I'll put uh, tap-ons in it just to demo. What is this, Harbor Freight? That is Ryobi. Oh, <laughs> we're having some fun with them. Oh, this is a cool little bit. So this is Sean Perry Benjamin's 20-inch organizer. We've got some finished nails in here. These are nice. Good. <laughs> I just told you. I said there. there these screws are going to be so easy for this hammer drill. It'd be so quick 
I mean, and these are not that small. What are they? Three inch? Are quarter inch. Three and, a, three and a half. Yeah, three and a half inch. And you know, I said you're gonna have to have long screws. So what we were gonna do is we were gonna kind of do like a little face off. But these, are, I mean, you want to this? The Gen Two is gonna sink this almost just as fast. But you know, the thing that Sean's noticing is just how smooth it is. I mean, it's sinking these like it's butter. Here, here's another one. Let's do it. Yeah, try that one. See if you feel a difference. Wow. Uh, I tell you, they're both quick. It's <laughs> quick, but I think the, uh, the new feel one's a little quicker. A little bit quicker. So what I, I think you're seeing is it's just not as smooth. Yeah, no, that one looks it looks definitely quicker. Definitely quicker, smoother. You got every you got the both on the same mode. Yeah, and well, this one goes to 14. This one goes to 13. So. Oh wow, that's another wow. All right. They're both on screw. They're both on their highest settings that they can go. Yes, they're both on and two. The one thing I noticed too is we were both talking. This is a um, what material? This is uh, magnesium. Magnesium. And we don't, this doesn't look magnesium on the uh, Gen 2. Yeah, I'm guessing it's steel. Probably a, a, a steel, and you got magnesium here. Uh, it's just a real nice chuck. Um, so we're going to see, you know, if, over time, that's going to be the question. Is Can this chuck handle the amount of torque that this hammer drill puts out? Again, there's the, probably a lot of different variants on why people have issues with this chuck. Again, common sense tells you or he's gonna. Wow! I mean, man, you oversunk yeah, that sucker. I mean, I mean that, I could probably drill this all the way down to the chuck. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, we know about the power, guys. If you have the Gen Two, you know what type of power that this has. Again. Yeah, it's real, so easy to control. Yeah, it's, it's like just it's on this smooth. one, I love it, but right. it, it's it's you can feel all that power here. The power is like more concentrated. And now. again, it's so thin, guys. It is so thin. You cannot believe it. Yeah, that's a great. And not that the uh, Gen Two is, you know, it, it, it's just. I mean, look at the size difference, guys. That's that. I'd say at least. Is there any specs on it? I would yeah, say it's, it's uh, like one in, it's one point five inches shorter. One point five inches shorter. That's, wow, that doesn't seem that long. That's what they're but. saying. Up to one point five inches. Up to one point five inches shorter. So maybe not. That's an inch. Yeah, probably an inch. Um, so it's probably on like our first gen or something. That yeah, yeah. They're probably compared, but look how look at the difference and how thin it is. And again, the weight. You know, I'm I'm gonna have this. We'll weigh them. We'll definitely take a look at the different, you know, hammer drills and the, and the thing again. I'm not going to say it again. I know there's there's small differences. We talk about the uh, selector, but you're getting this Gen 2 for the new chuck and obviously the compact size. But we're going to do a couple more things here, and we'll and we'll definitely. Here's Sean in action. Sean in action. I tell you, he'd be a good car salesman. Soon as he sees somebody, man, he. Whoosh, whoosh. This guy's going to make a sale. He's like left me hanging over here, so I'm gonna play around. With this fucker. I mean, it is so fast. See, you gotta you gotta feather that, or you gotta put it in a, a, a lower setting, but or setting one. But this thing is just crazy power. I'm gonna stick it in one. All right, now now we're in setting one. Setting one. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm doing this with one hand. I mean, even in setting one, it's got so much power. I knew him. I knew he was going to hook him up. He hooks everyone up. But yeah, when you go in setting two, man, he's going to be watch. Now we'll stick her. You definitely have to feather it. If not, it's going to fly right off. I'll show you. Or obviously you can, you know, change your selector, but right. Got a feather. Hey, just a quick heads up. I'm just showing I don't know where the hell it is. I've been playing around with this Empire or tape measure here. This, this thing is a piece of crap. You're really much better off with the Ryobi uh, two pack. $9.99. Uh, this is eight bucks. You can get two Ryobis for uh, ten bucks. I would definitely go with the Ryobi. Um, really flimsy, crappy material. Uh, got one hand here. This might work right here. I mean, just a real cheap, flimsy. I mean. It's, this ain't gonna hold up too long, if you ask me. Um, and uh, this isn't metal, this is plastic, guys. It kind of looks like it's metal. And if you don't, know, it says chrome tape measure. I mean, it's chrome plated, but this is plastic. So, I mean, if you drop this, I mean, there's absolutely no, I, I can I can probably bust this right now. If I was to drop this, this would split right in half. I mean, what do you expect for seven dollars? But like I said, I definitely I, that's why I talk about the Milwaukee ones. And again, you guys, there's Stanley, there's DeWalt, a lot of different companies make tape measures. But um, you know, to get the Auto Lock for fourteen bucks. Um, you know, but I, those Ryobis I've been really impressed with, guys. The Ryobi $5 tape measure. Now here's Sean. Sean, these things suck. Sorry. They're what do you think? $7.97. I know, but you can get two Ryobis for 10 I think they're much better. I have a story I can't tell you. Oh, okay. <laughs> About the Empire? Yeah. All right, all right, see? He's a good kid. He's always honest. He's got a funny story still happening. Yeah, so stay away from those Empire ones, guys. I mean... Again, you get what you pay for, but the Ryobi, two for ten, five bucks, and you got two of them. Again, sometimes they're on sale, two for ten. I don't know what the regular price is, but I'd go that route. What do you think of that, bud? It's awesome. That's great. Now try the other one. Where's the other one? Oh, yeah, this is the Gen 2. Try this one. Tell me if you see a feel difference. Well, this one is the new one. This is the Gen 3. This is Gen 2. This is the one you probably... Do you have this? This is the one you have or you don't use Milwaukee? I do have this. Yeah. Try the smaller one. But Real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Get this on video. I thought this one did it quicker. <laughs> yeah, now see that just tells you. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're both brand new. I know. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, I've been saying it over and over again. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Get a smaller bit in the second you. Oh, absolutely. It is a. That's a big bit. Just no doubt. The dozer product manager is happy. I'm gonna show you how easy it is 
to get that plug out. Yeah. yeah not just everybody, get a flathead. Not everybody has, not all full saws have yep. a bigger. Uh, just get a flathead. Uh-huh. Just like a pry bar, pry it right out. Real simple. Bulldozer. But, the bulldozer. But bulldozer. again, you're not going to see too much of a difference, guys. What you're getting with this Gen 3, I'm going to say it. I mean, the power. Take it easy, buddy. The power is really, you know, just about the same. There's, you know, besides the compact size, guys, the new chuck, and a lot of people have been commenting on the light. They love the light back down on the bottom. You know, it seems like they're going back old school. And uh, sometimes the engineers try to be a little bit too, um, too, um, oh, look at this. Uh, look at this. It's like, it's, like, it's like a party. You can push on the back, too, if you want. There you go. A seed's in heaven. There it is. You did it. Great. Yeah, that's a nice... Yeah, it smells like camping. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, this is the new one. If you're building cabinets or anything, you need to put, like, past ports, get a drill, get a whole saw. They make them in different sizes. And... Very accessible. This is the older one. You want to try the new one? Yeah, it's a little lighter, a little smaller. That's lighter, right? You feel a difference? And you got the flat back on it. Go ahead. You probably have to hit in the wrong. Did you give it to her in the wrong direction? Huh? There you go. See, that's, that's quicker. Right? Yeah. We're just about there. Yeah. Yep. It's fun. There you go. See, it's, it's fun. Oh, look at this little guy. And what's your what's your name, buddy? His name is Hunter. Hunter. Blackberry's bigger than this dog. Wow, that. What does she weigh? Like five pounds? He, oh wow. Just over five. There you go. Look, you even get treats when you. Oh, they even get treats. Look at this. Oh, she's smaller. You're not allergic to that, really? Yeah. Good treats. Oh, she loves them. He loves them. I think this dog's loaded with fleas. See it scratching? It's it's definitely got fleas. It needs a flea bag. Beautiful dog. What do you say? Beautiful dog. It's loaded with fleas. See? It's probably got nits, too. Beautiful dog. Look at her. You got a nice little, like the blanket. That's so cool. The towel. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome. And yeah, she's cute as a devil. Yeah. It's probably got lime, too. Dog lime. It's going to take a. Wow. Yeah, that's. Uh, wow. Blackberry would beat this dog's butt. Scratcher. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Fuel Gen 3 hammer drill with hold dozer, one and a quarter inch hold saw. What? This is the fuel sawzall. Uh, with a 9 amp hour battery. Not the Super Sawzall. Not the Super Sawzall. This is your regular Sawzall fuel Sawzall. Uh, these carbide torch blades are made for cutting metal. They're carbide tips, so they're going to last a hell of a lot longer. They're gonna, you're going to see them popping up in Home Depots starting now. Starting right now. And are you one of the first stores to have these blades? Yeah, but I mean... Um, they're going to be everywhere they're soon. They're going to be everywhere. But Riverdale, New Jersey, if you want to get them now. Um, and this is the first time I've ever even used it, so I'm going to cut through this black pipe. Now this is basically the hardest thing you're ever going to pipe, like, cut through, right? So let's see how it goes. Holy smokes. That is... Dude, that was... That was really quick. Yeah, it was really quick. Guys, this is thick metal here. You know, the, at the symposium, they did a lot of uh, cutting um, 
with these new uh, blades, um, these new torch blades. But that was in 10 seconds, man. Okay. That was quick. Get the axe carbide, because that'll do it too. Right. It's obviously not designed for it. Right, the torch. The torch. Yeah. All right, so 800 lumens. This is one of Milwaukee's oldest lights. It's now available in stores now. Not all Home Depot stores. Would you call it HDS stores? H C T stores. Heavy Duty Center. Oh, that's what this is. What is the H D C store? Oh, that explains everything. Only found here. All right, so you gotta go to your local H D D. C heavy store. Duty Center. Heavy Duty Center. You know, I've been working with this guy for, what, two years now. He finally tells me that he's a heavy duty center. Yeah, so if, you, if you're a heavy duty center, your store has a single store representative. Um, Actually, so Lodi is a heavy duty center. Yep. So is Paramus. Hackensack. Hackensack, not Rockaway. Yeah, Rockaway should be there. I don't know about Rockaway. They have a rep there. They, they probably are then. But anyway... One of the oldest lights, and I tell you, it's still one of the best. Um, I was playing around with this at the symposium, actually, because I always wanted this light. Um, but it's in stores now, 79 bucks. Sean's going to go over a couple other items that are now available in right. these heavy-duty centers. Good soldering iron in um, M12. Uh, it's got a nice adjustable head, um, portable, smart. Oh, nice. Um, Does this come with a kit? Can you get it in with a kit or no? I don't know. I okay. don't know, but uh, I don't think so. But we also have the 18 volt heat gun, so a lot of kind of your electricians are going to be using. Oh, they got the heat gun. Yep, I saw that. That's 18. That's 12. Hey, this is a great deal. Two, three amp hour batteries for 99. Wow. Bucks. That's the only way to buy. You know, where could you get batteries. the compacts? Because they are hitting stores now. now oh, this, finally. That's one thing that I don't have in this store, but it's going to go right here. Yep, my brother. He gave me three of them. I gave one away. I had two for me. One is in Milwaukee, because. They switched the batteries out. You know the whole story. But I got a 6 amp hour out of it. But whatever. All right. What else do you get? Um, what else is here? Um, this, oh, this guy. Rivet gun. Oh, you got the rivet gun in? Yeah, man. Oh, there's a lot of videos on this. Um, oh, cool. This thing was great. We had a lot of fun at the symposium with this. We were actually making a Milwaukee... You seen that? Inside, yeah. <laughs> and how much does this go for? Um, that goes for ninety, but one sixty nine. One sixty nine bare tool. Bare tool. This is, I think, one of the again innovation. Uh -huh. This is just something that. Oh. It, it, it's getting crazy. One thing that most people don't have uh, anymore. I still have three. Oh, you still got three of these for sixty nine. Seventy nine dollars. But that comes with a two amp hour battery, yeah, this, right? This is, you know. It's so funny with Milwaukee. The stuff comes out, it's the talk of the town for two weeks, and then something new other comes out, yeah, and you kind of forget about this. Of the week, right? what, what an absolute... People love it, It is. Man. It's freaking awesome. It's so. so small, so compact, and, you know, the quickness, especially for my stuff, you know, lawn mowers and stuff. But, again, innovation with this rivet gun. Oh, he's got... Oh, this just came in, too. This is this the grease gun. for a while. Right? Yes. But it hasn't been in the stores before, so people yeah. love this guy. It's cool. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't see the. I'm not gonna. I don't see an advantage to one of these grease guns, no. really. I mean, I, you just, not, I don't use them. Yeah, in my profession. we have to <laughs> grease but, uh, our spindles, and I, I don't think the guys that are going like doing maintenance. Yeah, I mean, it's machine, definitely quicker. Right, right. Like they they live and die by. It, yeah, you know, yeah. No, it's for definitely. Your homeowner, which, right for for <laughs> for most people. Or your small tradesman, it's not going to be something you want to invest in. But it's here. It's ninety nine bucks. You can pick it up. Oh, it's only ninety nine bucks. That's no. Right. Yeah. Oh, they lowered the price. So then. this is the M twelve. Yeah, yeah. Wow, the M twelve is only ninety. Uh, oh, my bad. Oh, I'm sorry. How you doing? Yeah, I think that about covers it. Check out Tool Boss YouTube. <laughs> Um, so this is only ninety nine dollars. Now that yeah. that's all right. So I want to actually apologize then, because <laughs> my point was not. I actually thought this was like one hundred sixty nine dollars, mm -hmm. but ninety nine dollars bare tool. Um, again, innovation at its best right here. No one else offers a grease gun, do they? Not that I know of. And they have an M eighteen version of this too, right? Yes. All right. So these are all in stores, guys. Uh, again, heavy duty centers. Um, yeah, $99. That's that's not bad. 
Uh, we know about the new ratchets. They've been around. Um, yeah, we didn't always have the, the quarter inch. Right. Um, which we have. Now you have that, and you got the half inch. I mean, the quarter inch in the, in the old brush. And some you know what? Like these yes, some, I was just going to say, you know, this is one of the tools that everyone was excited for. Because, again, in the 12-volt platform, this is actually the ratchet is one of the most popular tools. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people that prefer the old style ratchet or the you know the brushed version we'll call it uh over the new one and not that it's better not that it has more torque because we know that's not what's going on it just gets in tighter places it gets into tighter places uh the weight i mean not that these are super heavy but when you've been working with these for so long that extra you know pound and a half or something like that you know but great tools but again we talk about it all the time. There's a hundred and ninety nine dollar deal going on with these ratchets right now. You know about that? Mm. Online. You get the impact, the uh, drill driver, I believe you get the sawzall, and you get this ratchet with two twos or two one point fives, ninety nine hundred and ninety nine bucks. Is that so, on your site? Yeah, I think I did a video okay. on it. That's right. oh, but okay. um yeah. So there's some new stuff again, these are in every store, the ratchets, I believe, right? Not just in heavy duty centers, but the grease gun. The rivet gun, um, you know, the flashlights that you're going to find in heavy duty centers. And just so but, you guys know, this also ends uh, at the oh, end of the month with the free six amp hour battery. So yeah. you can, yeah, this is a killer. 725, it ends. It so. ends in like another 10 days, guys. Again, you can get, this is a great kit, guys. We talk about there's no reason, honestly, with the free six. To get the Gen 1, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, but there's some two other kits we don't really talk about. But this is this is the one you got to get. This is a I great one too. One of those hacksaws. Yeah, there's these have been sold out in a lot of places. I got a couple. But um, yeah, they have a couple here at Riverdale if you're interested. But um, you know, this the hammer drill doesn't make sense for another twenty dollars. You get the impact, right? So be smart. But this is running out July 25th.